Hi everybody, this is Sheila. Welcome back to the Crochet Nurse channel. Today, what we're going to do is a yarn haul. I was out shopping a bit, went to Joann's, Michael's, Walmart, and I picked up a few things on clearance that I wanted to show you um, and talk about the pricing of that. We have a little guest here. If you can see him right there, that's my little buddy. That's what I'm building the, the pet beds for is this guy that's right here. I don't know how long he's going to stay there. <laughs> Because once the bags start rattling, he'll probably jump off and run away. Just FYI, if he kind of scares you when he moves. But he wants to kind of hang out with me, which is, which is fantastic. So if you like this kind of content, please hit the subscription button below. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you're notified when I have other videos upcoming. Okay, so let's get to it. So the first stop that I did on my little journey... Uh, yesterday is I went to Joann's. You all know that I, I like to go to Joann's. They usually have a lot of stuff that I enjoy. And I told you the last time that uh, I wandered to the back of the store looking in their clearance department. Now that I know about it, I go there every time. And so I did this time as well. And I found a few really good buys that I want to show you. The first thing that I picked up was Kabo. Good job, buddy. I don't want to scare him. So I don't know how everybody pronounces, but that's how I pronounce it is, is Kaboo. So I've heard people say Kobu. Um, but this is what I picked up. And look at that color. It might be looking a little pink there in the camera, but the color is lilac. Very, very pretty. Of course, you guys know I really like the Kaboo. Super soft. I think it's going to look good as a top, don't you think? This is a size 3, 232 yards, 50-50 cotton rayon. And um, so I got four of these. And like I said, they're each 232 yards. Um, I got four of them. And uh, the original price for these at Joann's is $3.99. They were on the clearance in the back for... What was it? $2.99. But when I got to the cash register, these things were actually only $1.97. So I got a great deal on these. So for 232 yards, a size 3 yarn, um, regular, like I say, if I would have paid the $3.99, it would have been $1.72 per 100 yards. But because I paid $1.97 each, it is $0.85 cents per 100 yards. So like I said, I picked up four of these and I think that's plenty um, to make sorry buddy that's plenty to make um, a top at least and what do you think do you think that color will look good I love lilac it's just not I can't always wear it just depends on the time of the year but I'm really liking that so on the same rack as those I'm gonna set those over there you good boy it's all right all right on the same rack of those um, I saw Ferris wheel and you guys know how much I like Ferris wheel I made my strapless uh, little summer top that I showed you a couple weeks ago I made it out of one skein of this Ferris wheel of, of different color and then one skein of Karen simply soft uh, party yarn and that was the strapless one with the shells, uh, fans, and feathers at the bottom. I found these. Um, this was in the color... Well, this is 100% polyester. It's 270 yards. And this one is in, in the color of Imaginary Garden. Now, this color is not going to be for everyone. I like it. Um, but it's not going to be for everyone. Let me show you up close. And you probably can see that there is a red vein in there. Right, there it is right there. I'll open it up a little bit for you. Um, but there's blues, greens, and there's even a little bit of red. And if I dig in here further, I actually can, can see like some burgundy or something in there as well. I really liked it when I saw it. I knew I wanted it when I saw it. Um, and it was just an, a bonus that it was on sale. This is definitely going to be something that I'm going to be using to make something in the fall. So as I shared, this is supposed to be a number 
four, I believe is what it says it is. Yeah, it says it's a four, but it's a small four. This operates more as a three. Um, but it works up really nice. I, someone, one of my uh, subscribers had shared with me that once I started working with the Ferris wheel that I'd really like it, and I totally agree. Um, it doesn't split. It's super soft up against the skin. I really enjoy it. But anyway, for price point, regular price, these guys are $4.99, which makes it $1.84 per 100 yards. It was on special for $3.97, which is $1.47 per 100 yards. That's not what I paid. I actually paid $2.47. When I got up to the register, they gave me an additional discount on this and the Kaboo. And so it ended up being 91 cents per 100 yards. Great deal for both of these, um, for, for them. FYI, while I'm talking about these, um, I was happy to talk to one of the store folks and she was sharing with me that the reason the Kaboo and the Ferris wheel are clearanced out um, out of Joann's is they're not going to get them in again. Um, Lion Brand and is not going to do this Ferris wheel. They're not going to ship this to them anymore. And then the Kaboo, if you go look on the Lion Brand site right now, this same Kaboo that's right here in my hand, and now it's, I told you it was 50 for 50, um, cotton rayon is what this one is but if you go look on line brand site they have changed the wrapper on this kaboo and it now says 50 50 um, cotton and the other piece is rayon from bamboo and the price is no longer $3.99 it is now $5.99 just FYI same stuff but they're adding in saying that the rayon now is from bamboo and i looked it up and rayon is from bamboo that's where mostly it comes from it's synthetic but it can come from bamboo so um, i'm not sure that they changed what this actually is but they definitely changed the wrapper um just fyi but look at him he's wondering what i'm going to get out next aren't you buddy oh buddy you all right oh you want to go sweet don't you it's all right. We'll be done in a minute and you can go sweet. Okay. You big boy. All right. His name is Baron, by the way. He's about, how old are you, boy? Hmm. How old are you? I think he's seven or eight. I forget how old he is. I got him when he was a little kitten. Oh my gosh. Uh, he was sitting in the litter box at the Humane Society. My husband says, oh, we got to have him. He's just sitting there and he's being all lonely. So we got him. And now this is what he does. He's waiting for me to stop talking so he can go to sleep. <laughs> so he's going to sit there, aren't you? All right. The last thing that I got at Joann's was this book. Um, I got this a little bit ago, um, $14.99. I got it for 50% off, uh, so I paid $7.50 for it. It's, you know, it's kind of cute book. The few things that I say is that it actually has nice pictures of different stitches and different patterns in here. It's really laid out nice. There's, and it has like direction. So it's definitely a beginner type of a book. Um, I picked it up because it was a good price and because I saw this one, the Starburst Stitch. I thought that was interesting. And so I picked it up for that. And there was another one in here that I liked. Uh, I mean, it has the, like the granny squares on it too. Um, the Starburst and then there was another one. Oh, it has the triangles and things like I say. I mean, it's a, it's a basic book, but I thought that the color pictures were really well done. Whoever designed this, who was this? Um, Ruth Patrick. Uh, and the other piece that I like about this book, aside from the price, is that it is um, in a spiral. And so, look, see, it has the little granny in there, too, for somebody who didn't know how to make that. It gives it directions. Go on, bud. But what I really like is that it is a spiral bound 
and so it lays flat when it's open. I really like that in books. Whenever I see that in books, I pay close attention. You done, buddy? So that's what I picked up. There you go. Go on. Go on. That's what I picked up. <laughs> You're going to sit on my book. Okay. So that's what I picked up at, at Joann's. And from there, I did my typical, sorry, but my typical, from there I went from Joann's, I wandered over to Michael's because, you know, I like Michael's as well. Ciao, pal. Okay. Good boy. Thank you. Good boy. So I wandered over there. And I picked up a few things as well. So, as always, Michael's was super messy. There was stuff all over the floors. And I don't even think the air conditioner was on. Honest to gosh, I don't think the air conditioner was on that day. Um, it, it was like 90 degrees outside. And I was in there with my mask on, of course. And I was just dying. And I'm like, I got to get in. I got to get out. They had a whole bunch of stuff in the back for clearance, which is why I went in. Because, as you know, there's a big clearance thing going on right now. And so I was like, I got to get in, get out, stayed away from people. And I didn't get tons of stuff, um, but I did pick up a few items. Oh, um, before I move on, I wanted to share with you. If you all shop at Consumer Crafts, because I went on Consumer Crafts um, right before I went to Michael's because I was looking for something. And apparently Consumer Crafts has now been bought by Michael's. And so if you go to look at Consumer Crafts, it actually now has a redirect to Michael's. So, boop, um, like last year they bought AC Moore out. They've now, now bought out Consumer Crafts. So just FYI, um, just so you have that information. So none of that is on anymore. So let's see what I got. <laughs> Trying not to scare him. So the first thing I picked up, and these were all on clearance, was I picked up a skein, just one skein of Flicka, because that's all they had. Now, doesn't that look suspiciously the same as something else I have? Remember a couple weeks ago when I showed you the Lion Brand Comfy Cotton? Well, this is the exact same yarn. Um, this Flicka, they're saying that this color is Waiting Pool. And this is a 50-50 uh, poly cotton blend. Well, Lion Brand Comfy Cotton is also a 50-50 poly, uh, poly cotton blend. And, and, in, and they call this colorway Ocean Breeze when it's in the cake. But it's called, you know, it's a different name. It's called Waiting Pool. And in here, it's Flicka. So they only had one skein. I got it just in case I needed more to finish my uh, top. I told you I was working on another summer top. But I went ahead and got it because there was only one skein. I thought, why not? It's a good price. So I did the calculation. It turns out that if you purchase Flicka or if you purchase Lion Brand Comfy Coffin, they're cotton, they're the exact same yarn, A, and then B, um, price point is, is identical. So I shared with you that Lion Brand Comfy Coffin was $7.99 for a cake of that. I don't have a cake here in front of me. Um, but they're $7.99 and and on the and that was for 432 yards. These are normally $3.99 and there is only what is this? 176 yards. 196 yards. So dollar for dollar it's the same. Both of these equate to two dollars and three cents for a hundred yards. So you're not getting robbed. I mean, if you're doing Flicka or if you're doing it in the cake, it's the same price. But I didn't pay $3.99 for this. Um, it was supposed to be on sale for uh, clearance for $1.97, which would make it a dollar per 100 yards. Again, I'll let you see that color. And, but when I got up to the register, I'm on the Michaels Rewards. And so they gave me an additional discount. And so I paid $1.09 uh, for this scheme, which made it, uh, 56 cents uh, per 100 yards and so we should have had more of them at that price because after working with this uh, on my summer top over there I really like the yarn it's nice to work with take it off buddy 
So the other things that I picked up was something that I haven't tried before, um, but I wanted to. You're going to sit just like that, okay. They probably only can see half of your head. What? You going to sweep? It's all right. These I've been wanting to try for a while. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? That is violet. This is a Loops and Threads brand, and it's called Cream Cotton. It is 83% cotton and 17% nylon. This one is a hand wash, lay flat to dry. I wasn't going to, I was in the store probably two months ago, maybe three months ago, given all the other stuff going on. And I was going to get it then, but then that hand wash thing slowed me down. Um, but this time I got it just because the price, and I just can't get past the softness of this thing. Um, it is supposed to be a four, and I'll show you that it's a, it's a different kind of a twist, if you can see that. I, it is not your normal twist, so I totally believe that you could not throw that into a washer. Um, I say 83% uh, cotton, 17% nylon. Let me pull this out of here. So you can, there, here's the end of it. Yeah, see that looks different. And, oh, but it's so soft. I can't even, I can't even tell you how soft this is. It's just so nice. Um, these regular go for $9.99 a piece, um, which I actually thought $9.99 was not a bad deal for how soft this is. I mean, it just feels like, almost feels silky. That's how soft it is. Um, for $9.99, that gives a price point of $2.31. Um, it was on sale for $5.99, which makes it $1.39 per 100 yards. And again, I got my discount once I got up to the register, and this actually ended up being uh, $1.18 per 100 yards. So I got this guy, two of them. You guys know how much I like purples. Sorry, buddy. I got three of them. So, 1,300 yards. And so, I absolutely will be making something with this. As soft as this is, this is absolutely going to go up against my skin. Or my daughter's skin is just so soft. So, I can't wait to work with this. It's not going to be a while because there's so many things I have to do that I have on my plate to do. Uh, crochet wise. So I picked up three violets. I bet now. I wonder what. And then I picked up one. This is called Country Blue. Isn't that pretty? That's what that is Country Blue. So very pretty. And that was the last item that I got at Michael's. Okay, so that actually was the haul. I went from there. Come here, buddy. I went from there over to. Oop, let go, bud. I went from there over to Walmart, and uh, the wall, the store at Walmart, the the aisles were almost empty. We, well, there's only one half aisle really at Walmart that has yarn, and it was pretty much empty. And I talked to one of the people at the Walmart. Um, she was telling me that Red Heart is not shipping right now, which is why um, the stores are so bare, and they didn't know when they're actually going to get another shipment. I don't really. Whoop, bye, buddy. I don't really do um, Red Heart. But I thought I would share that with you guys just so you're aware um, that they're not really shipping. I don't know why, but that's just what's going on. So anyway, that's what I got today. The caboose and Ferris wheel and a little bit from Michael's um, as well. But I'll tell you, I'm pretty happy with what I got. I see a lot of uh, potential projects for this. Um, as you can tell, I got a, a purple theme going on here uh, for sure. 
purples are going to be in the summer. These Ferris wheels. Mm, that's going to be in the fall. But that's what I got going on. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in, in the comments box below. And now you met my cat. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.